Merry Christmas, guys. Hey, I hope you enjoy this uh, Christmas gift, but uh, what I wanted to do is pass along this little uh, DVD so that you could see how to use this, as it, the instructions that come inside the package are only about safety, which is important, but it doesn't tell you how to use it. So I want to show you. So this here is just, I wanted to get this for you, those of you who do backpacking, so that you could see that this is very lightweight. <laughs> this is very lightweight and it just looks like a, um, a spray can lid. But what this is going to be is a burner for you guys who want to throw it in your pack, whether you're hunting or hiking or whatever you do. And I'm going to demonstrate how you do this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, when you're out and about in the woods, you just find a nice flat spot. Could be a rock, could be dirt, whatever you want. Now, this is going to be the key. It is called heat. Um, you don't take white, white gas, gasoline, anything else, but this is what's super cheap and it burns hot. So you can put this, carry this any way you want. And what I'm going to show you is we are going to heat up to boiling point uh, one cup of water in the fancy, uh, we're going to pretend all this is used because that's uh, what we were doing for Christmas this year. But uh, this is large enough so that you could put a whole can of chili or your re uh, dehydrated foods and just reconstitute it with some water. So right now we're just going to do one cup and I'm going to show you how fast this heats up. It's forceful. Okay. So if you'll, uh, Easton will zoom in on the, the lid. Now as you can see in the lid, there are these little notches. I'm going to just pour enough to cover the notches, maybe just a little bit higher than the notch. All right, but the more heat you put in, the longer it will burn, obviously. But you do not want to put it above this rim, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna pour enough in here. To cover those. Now when you light it, I'm just using a long one, you can use a, a little uh, cigarette lighter, but uh, you see it's just the fumes that catch fire. Now I know you can't see it very well so I'm going to ask Talon to turn the light out, but it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Just this one Talon, turn that one back on please. Can you see it okay? All right. So you just let this go. You need to, I practiced, and you need to uh, let it burn. The, wind, the cool thing about it is that the wind won't blow it out. I'm blowing on it. The wind doesn't affect it. But what's going to happen is that this flame is going to catch, and it's going to come out around these holes. Now, you cannot put your, you can't put your cup over it until that happens, or it will smother the flame. Now one caution, when this is going, you cannot put it out, all right? So that's why you don't want to put too much fuel or else it will just continually burn. I'm going to go ahead and put my water in my cup, Let's get it ready. And in just a minute here, it should start catching. Now, what I would recommend while we're waiting for that is uh, most of you will have some Hormel chili or stew of some sort in your pack. And now, the, for those that are, you want to show this, is starting to come out now. So once it starts there, just go ahead and put your cup over it. And here it goes. So we're going to time it and we'll see how long it takes. All right, now back to the chili. Now whether you have stew or chili, what I would recommend, as you can see, the flame is going outside of the cup. So what I would recommend is that you scoop it out of the can, unless you have some way of, you don't care about the wrapper burning, but you just take the, the chili or the stew out of the can, put it in your cup, and you'll have a tasty meal in just a couple minutes. So this is a pretty uh, fast, moving fast burning flame and we'll see how it goes here in just a minute 
Okay, can we turn the light back on, please? Once it gets going, Easton will uh, show you the inside to see how fast it actually boils. And I've brought uh, a pair of leather gloves that you probably might have with you when you're out camping or hiking. You'll want to use that on the, the handle here. Don't bump the table. You just have to be careful. You don't want it to tip over. So we've been just over a minute. It's starting to uh, ripple inside. You can't hit the table towel because it'll tip. Okay, if you can see inside, it's getting it's getting warm. All right, if you can uh, look down inside there, it's almost completely boiling. Not. Not quite, but depending on how hot you want your water, I probably put way too much. Uh, I probably put way too much fuel in there because this is going to go for a while. But it's been about two minutes, and it is. It's pretty much boiling. We'll wait till it gets to a rolling boil. We might even uh, show you. We'll see how much fuel we have left, and we'll do some chili. Hey Tara, can you grab me a spoon, please? Hope everyone is having a great Christmas day. And we'll see how this uh, turns out here. Now I know if I stuck my finger in there, it would be nice and hot. But I'm not going to. Okay, so point it down in there. Can you see the water? All right, so it's boiling. That's a full rolling boil right there. That was about two and a half minutes. So what I'm going to do is just take it off. Never try this at home, kids. Mm -hmm. Now it's still burning. I've got, I don't know if you can see the, uh, the fuel that's still in there. But I'm going to go ahead and it's still burning. I'm going to go ahead and put some chili down in my cup. We'll see how long this takes. Alright, slip the glove back on. Notice I can't blow that out. Alright. The one thing, it's not the, the most stable, but uh, if you don't have to do a whole lot with it, you're good. Put a little of this water in there so you can see it. So as you can see, the flame is starting to die down just a little bit but it's still got flame. It's probably gonna go long enough for me to heat my chili. And it looks like the flame is burnt out. All right, so I could have done, you know, if that was my chili alone, it would have been fine. And this stays hot for quite a while. So, Hope everybody uh, can enjoy their chili, their hot water, and all that uh, weird hiking food that you guys use. And all you need is water. Cheers. Merry Christmas.